Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to address a question by Patrick. Now, Patrick reads, Dear Linda, I've been doing the method that you taught me in reference to forgive myself and clearing all my bad karma from the past. And I have to say, I've been receiving a lot of old memories that have been surfacing for me. And I believe in my heart that this is the after effect of what you taught me. So I take this as a good thing and I pray I'm going to forgive myself to let go of all my bad karma in the past. Wow. So there is a question in this that I want to address with Patrick. And when we start becoming more of anything, there's always the flip side of things that must be let go of. So when we are proceeding in our personal development or our self-awareness development, whatever you want to call it, whenever we go through that transformation, things from our past will present themselves. So we deal with that energy or emotion of what it caused. Okay. So it's when we look back at things in our past that are now resurfacing. You know the old, oh my God, I haven't thought about that person for five years and now I saw something that reminded me of them. That's a message that there's still things there to deal with emotionally. So forgiving ourselves for what we've done to others and how we reacted or responded to others' actions is how we heal so we rebalance that karma, okay? Now, I'd love to be able to say this is an easy fix, but it's not. I personally still get issues and stuff from my past that gets presented in the form of dreams, thoughts through the day. I even have these moments where I think, why am I feeling so anxious? And then I look around and, oh my gosh, what I wasn't aware of, there's a reminder of something from my past there. It could be a tree, similar to one I used to have in my backyard 20 years ago. But it's our trigger is, is not something that we know in our conscious thoughts, okay? When I talk about triggers through mental health, I tell people about my own, as well as other ones that I've heard. And a great one is a lady who contacted me and she said, Linda, I don't know what it is, but every time I go to my local grocery store, I have an anxiety attack. And I said to her, well, okay, whereabouts does it happen? In the car park, at the front door, inside? And she said, no, it's always aisle six. Always. As soon as I walk down aisle six, there's something there that I can't remember in my own thoughts but I obviously have to heal something in my past that is a reminder of something in aisle six. So I said to her, scrutinize it. When you go there, be strong and say whatever is in this space has no right or permission to attach to your energy and look at everything in that aisle and try to find out the connection, energetic connection to what happened in your past, okay? So as an example, I'll tell you how weird triggers can be. Imagine 10 years ago, I did CPR on a person. Now I've done CPR on a few people in my life, okay? So I like using that as an example. But imagine next to me, on one of the people that I did CPR, there was a bottle of Coca-Cola, okay? You're there doing CPR, but your brain is still registering the whole scene the lady walking past in the polka dot dress, the shop over there, half price sale, there's a bottle of Coca-Cola sitting next to you on the floor. And you're there doing CPR, the ambulance has come and this person cannot be um, revived. So you go home heartbroken. What did I do wrong trying to save this person's life? Three years later, five years later, could be 20 years later, you walk down all six where they sell the drinks at the grocery store and you see a bottle of coke and it sets off the most biggest chain reaction of emotional outpour 
because that shows us that we haven't dealt with that Coca-Cola bottle represents the day 20 years ago or whenever it was when you were doing CPR on a person and they couldn't be revived. See how mental health works? I look at bottles of Coke every day as an example, but just one time I'll look, look at a bottle of Coke and it will bring back this memory of the day when there was a bottle of Coke next to that lady. I don't even remember the bottle of Coke being there because I was so concerned with doing CPR on this lady. See how mental health works? And that's why they call it the Witch of the Witches, if with a capital B's. Because sometimes we remember our triggers, okay? But sometimes we don't. So we've got to sit there and say, what is it that's triggering us? What is making that emotion? Because peace is when we don't have an emotion. So one of my videos I'm going to do is about peace. How do we accumulate peace? Is when we can look at our ex or we can look at our last employer or we look at our family and there's no anger. There's no emotion there with what happened in the past. It's just peace. It's zero emotion. So if you do find that you're having anxiety attacks, that's a huge sign that something's not right within our psyche, okay? Pardon me? So you've got to sit there and say, what's really going on, okay? What's really going on? So, you know, I used to drive over this bridge every day going to work. Every day when I got to a certain part, I'd have a major anxiety attack and I could never work it out because I've never, you know, every time I used to drive over that bridge, bridge from day dot, I used to have an anxiety attack. Then one day I'm driving to work and as I'm driving over the bridge, my phone rings and at that exact time and place, I got a phone call saying that somebody I know died and that set off my emotions. So sometimes, guys, and this is the real crazy of it, sometimes we are having triggers from emotions from our past, but sometimes if you're a psychic, you're picking up the emotions associated to a trigger in the future. And it's whether we can identify that emotional connection and then we can heal it by saying simply, thank you. I appreciate this memory or occurrence, experience. However, I no longer allow you to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. You have no more power over me and I consent that it is now time for you to be healed. I no longer get triggered or emotional when I think about it. Okay, that's a start in healing. So then we can go into forgiving forgiving ourselves for what we've done to others and for what others have done unto us we don't have to go and see that person and say I'm really sorry about what I did to you 20 years ago as long as we heal our energy that we've created regarding that event okay so I hope today I've answered Patrick's questions about how when we do go through a spiritual growth we will bring up the traumas and experiences from our past because we must heal them and create that energetic alignment which means zero emotional attachment so then we're at peace with our past and when we are acquiring peace that's when our awareness and our consciousness can all come into our own true existence of who we are. Hope that's helped you today and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.